Hey, what's good to YouTube? It's your boy Black with you three long face, skinny body. God know the girl, I'm still working on that part. You already know we back with some more fireboards or anime manga content. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button, share the video with your friends. And if you're watching the video and you're not a subscriber, but you already know you're from the States at the end, like what are you doing, my friend? But yeah, let's get to the business. <laughs> From this moment forward, that I will never lose again. Until the day comes, I will never, never be defeated. It was a very dialogue heavy chapter opposed to what people really believed what would have possibly taken place with Ishiki's second evasion onto the head of leave. And me personally, I'm like, yo, this nigga is too proper for all of that savage and shit. Now, if we was talking about my nigga Momoshiki, Black Air Force's Momoshiki, like, yeah, we probably would have been getting down to the business of village destruction point, you know what I'm saying, infinity in terms of Konoha, because these niggas is always getting annihilated when it comes to village and shit, right? That goes down in chapter 49. Kind of, I can say, I didn't expect to happen, but also something that I did expect to happen. Now, one of the things that circled around the community and especially came into fruition after chapter 49 ended was, you know, what would be that extra edge or that extra push? Because it was inevitable for this nigga Naruto and Sasuke to face this nigga Ishiki again. But what would be that extra push to help them actually overcome the second battle? Because we know the stakes are extremely high. But for the sake of Boruto's story, it's not like this. I ain't going to just like completely throw it out the book. But like this nigga Ishiki has to catch an L sooner or later. And I already know Kage gave one a thousand years ago. But that don't count because we wasn't around to see that shit go down. Now, I'm not saying Naruto Sasuke going to have to randomly. I don't know we'll be able to whip this nigga's ass. But let's just like let's look at all of the little things that go down. And also, you know, the little one on one between Sasuke and Boruto is going to be a heavy key role in this potential fight and you can see the parallels that happens also in the tuning exam so compared to the first fight they went in not exactly knowing like really what's going to go down really me i'm just trying to say they didn't know that they was going to get the ass beat this fight they're going in they knowing that they're going to get the ass beat so they should be more mentally prepared to get the ass with it like the reactions you can even tell naruto reacting getting kicked by ishigi this shot is kind of different from naruto reacting to getting kicked by jigen when he got kicked by jigen he was like yo this nigga's strong as fuck naruto done got his ass whooped by jigen so he already knows now when he getting kicked by ishigi he should understand like yeah this is like this is the pain that i i, I remembered from the first time i fought this nigga so it's not too much of a surprise but this nigga Ishiki is just overflowing with power right now and I'm pretty sure they had a good estimate of what Ishiki could possibly be like once they realized that oh shit there was like this nigga Jigen wasn't even at full power when we faced him so they were able to come to that understanding before facing off Ishiki so that's it's not necessarily an advantage but that's a good thing on Naruto Sasuke's part chakra wise we understood before uh this nigga Sasuke was following this nigga Jigen around from dimension to mention and shit like that before eventually going all the way traveling whoever knows where he went at before he was able to find uh this nigga jigen and naruto in that random dimension so we already know this nigga sasuke was depleted a little bit of chakra now i'm not gonna defend these niggas at all i'm not even gonna be on this topic too long because i already know how niggas get right and this nigga naruto is just like all right you know he really didn't know what the fuck was going down they're really trying to plan out things and figure out most of the shit that was happening throughout the fight now don't get me wrong this nigga jigen was hands down just like handling these niggas without a doubt Coming into this battle more prepared is definitely a more of a push for Naruto and Sasuke. Now, I'm personally disappointed they didn't include my nigga Rock Lee into this shit or even my nigga Kakashi because I definitely wanted to see a whole lot of hands being thrown. But I can see kind of where, particularly, let me say, this nigga Sasuke is going with this. Now, in the terms of uh, versus Momoshiki, Sasuke knew that, like, okay, this nigga Boruto is really determined or really serious about trying to basically come to understand his father in order to figure out how his father became so renowned and became so strong all throughout his quest in order to have Sasuke become his master you know that's really what was conflicting Boruto at the time now at this moment it's really of Boruto's resolve as a ninja not just necessarily for Boruto but they're reaching at this point that everybody has been mentioning since the beginning of the chapter of the mangas and the anime episodes is that you know Boruto and his generation specifically are going to have to 
be hit with reality and the true dangers and the fucking reality of ninja wars and battle and the consequences that it also brings along and it sees that boruto in chapter 49 he gives us an idea like this nigga already understands that he understands that he's not going to be able to go into every single battle that he pursues from now on and expect to come out that bitch alive like he has to be prepared to die like a ninja and him and sasuke has a very good as dialectic moment which ultimately for me uh brings up their student master relationship bond and to a whole nother level compared to where it was let's say in chapter 48 and even in chapter 47 like chapter 49 really did good with both sasuke and boruto's character and honestly this nigga sasuke seeking out boruto's basically inner thoughts because this is like some shit that you can see boruto as a character He's a very friendly guy. He's very outgoing and family type of person, optimistic type of person. But in certain situations, in certain scenarios, it's very hard to get Boruto to speak about what's heavenly on his mind. And you can see how not necessarily easy, but how comfortable he is with Sasuke under just revealing like, yo, my nigga, honestly, I'm scared of this nigga Momoshiki, like shit like that. Feeling that he's actually prepared to stop Boruto or prevent Boruto from taking any drastic measures if a possible momoshiki takeover would to occur, occur like he can't just like say that out of nowhere you know what i'm saying it just can't happen out of nowhere now we understand sasuke straight off the bat you got to look at the conversation said bro it's going to be difficult for just him and naruto he said that and they emphasized that to take down this nigga ishiki now we understand that sasuke initially had a plan versus momoshiki and it automatically came to fruition where boruto's vanishing rasengan saved the day now in this situation sasuke is aware based off of the uh, intel that he got from Sabra of the transformation that Boruto took and the fact that once Momoshiki finished the job he didn't do anything too extra meaning that possibly continually taking over Boruto's body or maybe even attacking Team 7 the rest of them or even Naruto for any other reason that we may not know of now we can't argue well the karma a process is not exactly completely done but still in the rare situation with Boruto and Kawaki being around each other so much everybody has been emphasizing how fast and extremely progressive the process of the karma is going and niggas like ishiki is surprised that it's even going at a rate that it's going for both boruto and kawaki so who's to say we know exactly what point of the process momoshiki is at with boruto so the mere fact that all right boruto wasn't completely taken over he has some type of foggy memory this nigga sasuke has been dealing with curse mark this nigga sasuke has been dealing with trying to slap the nine tails out of naruto this nigga sasuke dealt with obito madara he has some type of idea of facing opponents or fighting with opponents who have some type of monster or inner power dwelling up within them and from his own personal experience so i'm sure sasuke was willing to gamble on the bet that all right you know what i'm saying if we could get this nigga boruto over here he already mastered the basics of the karma cell right so that's as far as they really need just for this one battle for boruto to save sasuke the amount of trouble and potential chakra reserves for even having to catch ishiki off guard because we already know this nigga ishiki is just here for kawaki so unlike last time i feel like he really wouldn't have wasted his time doing space time ninjutsu bringing naruto somewhere because he already knows this nigga sasuke is going to be in the mix so he would have tried to baby use the village as a hostage in the kind of same situation that he was doing when him and naruto only had that one-on-one -on -one that was going down at first so with boruto using the space time ninjutsu sending this nigga ishiki to another dimension that already saved this nigga sasuke some chakra right and you can already see the start of sasuke's plan being played out where it's like okay they're just trying to save as much chakra as possible because they already have the intel that they need right as much as they can already get before the fight even starts in this case so saving and reserving uh that chakra is kind of the start of sasuke's plan and having boruto use the space time ninjutsu just saves a whole lot just maybe like a whole lot of trouble on this nigga sasuke's part because now all he has to do is track boruto's chakra which ultimately is what went down in chapter 49 and then boruto comes clean off the bat it says like now y'all niggas can go all out now i know the last time naruto and sasuke spoke about going all out both of them niggas blood actually ended up all out on the floor because these niggas didn't know what was coming their way now this time hopefully not only is it another day but hopefully their head is on straight because i'm pretty sure this nigga sasuke and this nigga naruto can muster up something because at the end of the day when it came to versus jigen the ability to shrink shit is really what threw these niggas off guard now if sasuke particularly sasuke could have avoided those critical points the critical damage that he took at the end of the fight being penetrated and stabbed through his skin you know because this nigga naruto can regenerate but if sasuke could have avoided that last hit 
basically from the looks of it now this is just my personal opinion y'all go reread the fight naruto sasuke versus jigen if y'all want but if he would have survived or basically just maybe dodged those last couple of chakras through the body it looked like this nigga naruto was ready to go another round you know what i'm saying it's just that this nigga sasuke had to definitely get out of town because he was from the bleed out on the fucking ground but if he would have avoided those hits you know what i'm saying the thing to you know spread your chakra out a little bit i'm pretty sure they could have worked their way through it because this nigga naruto was breathing heavy definitely but he was like you know what i'm saying try, try to go round two right now now in this case we already know this nigga ishiki's irritated with this nigga sasuke's running gone sasuke is very like he's on point he's a he's a very smart fighter so i'm not saying like this nigga ishiki's gonna have trouble but i'm i don't really see naruto and sasuke for that matter letting these chakras you know what i'm saying go all the types of ways like he did last fight having ishiki go about his day now it's looking like they're definitely more mentally prepared i don't know about physically but definitely more mentally prepared to face off against this nigga ishiki now the only thing is how things will play out and how ultimately, if at all, this is in Sasuke's idea or plan to take down this nigga Ishiki. He plans to bring about this nigga Momoshiki's power throughout Boruto's Karma Seal. And we already know this nigga Sasuke, he's a man of his word. So how things will play out, is just say for the most part. This nigga Momoshiki's gonna come out through this nigga Boruto's karma, so right? Boroshiki's gonna help them defeat this nigga Ishiki. Now, a lot of people have been speculating, oh, Sasuke and Naruto may be facing their potential deaths due to this nigga Ishiki in the upcoming fight. Now, that actually may be 100% true, but it can also be a play-in scenario where where this nigga Momoshiki does come in clutch, where Sasuke plan comes in handy, but also backfires at the same time, whereas this nigga Momoshiki, due to the extreme process rate of the Karma Seal, randomly out of nowhere maybe decides to take over or maybe just decides to stay inside in control of Boruto's body and possibly fade this nigga Naruto and Sasuke right after the fucking Ishiki fight. Now, that's just probably like a stretch, a stretch, a long ass stretch. But, bro, with the amount of theories coming up of it's possible that this nigga sasuke gives boruto his eye scar in an attempt to maybe stop this nigga momoshiki from rampaging or it's possible that this nigga boruto himself kills sasuke with momoshiki the one being in control but you know boruto himself got his hands bloody and stained with this nigga i don't know bro like i ain't gonna let me i'm not even trying to speak too much on it bro i'm really excited for whatever big shit they got in chapter 50 to give us with boruto like i'm just like i'm just ready for it bro it's your boy black at you three how do y'all think this nigga Sasuke plan will play out versus this nigga Ishiki. Do y'all believe that this nigga Sasuke is planning on straight up brawling out against this nigga Ishiki, possibly sacrificing either him or Naruto in order to win? Do y'all think he has some type of secret plan that includes this nigga Boruto? And it's just like a matter of time before this nigga Boruto pops up. It's your boy Black Uchiha 3. Don't forget to comment below. Holla at your boy. I'ma holla at y'all. Long face, skinny body. Don't forget to get that AB Your Own Uchiha hoodie merch. Until the next video, Black Chair out, oh, yes, sir. Hey, can we take a trip to the sky? Show them that our limits too high. Fuck up all the hips on the list. She said.